What's up guys, welcome back to another video, hope you're all doing well today. Is it just me or are we getting absolutely sport for choice in terms of Supercross tracks recently? You can tell the Supercross season is in full force. This is Homeyard SX and he's created by James46 and I think this is his first time going solo. Usually he creates tracks with Jones as well, the old Jones and Jones combo. But I've only seen his name on this one. This is recently, recently released english on the the mx bike shop and consists of three supercross tracks it's got a daytona track a north track and a south track we're going to try all three of them for you today and hopefully I, I, I feel a little bit of that supercross mojo a bit more and i think we can all agree it's bloody beautiful i absolutely love these textures that have been used you smash 42k you smash 43k i'm going to push the boat out can we hit 44,000 subs by the new year i think we can do it you guys have been nothing but supportive recently i hope you've been loving the content enjoy this video thank you so much uh, another day another time for me to change up bikes again when it comes to supercross instead of actually getting comfortable on something oh what's wrong with me so home yard sx this looks so pretty and it's, it's weird ha like it's a backyard style track but it's absolutely huge it's just like your own personal compound it looks absolutely lovely uh, as, as i said in the intro the textures are bloody beautiful so this track that i'm on right here i believe this is the daytona track so what we're going to do is we're going to spin some laps and you're going to try and learn some tracks with me again and i'm literally playing this the day after recording the video on cody james's recently released supercross track as well but it's, it's very very odd we are getting very very lucky in terms of these tracks and already straight off the bat guess who's going the wrong way take number two we're going the right way this time this is going to become just a running joke on this channel at some point i thought them whoops felt uh, felt strange when i was going into them so we go through the old whoop de doos right here under the tunnel i do love me a uh, an over under jump and this looks like a triple out of that corner into another triple straight into this one round to the right we go up and over triple Ooh, that is i'm gonna i'm gonna call it triple people will bully me if i call it a quad because the tabletop is one jump not two even though it's the size of two <coughs> and up and over oh that's a very long rhythm section that's nice i feel like recently we well in terms of custom tracks especially in supercross uh people tend to shy away from the longer rhythm section so that'll be nice to try and get a bit of a flow going through learn a little bit let's go inside here let's just get step over and double Round to the right we go, we go double, up and over this triple, lovely, round to the left, I'm quite, I'm sliding about quite a lot, I'm 97% I'm sure that I've got got the updated tyres on and I'm not on the stock pebosos, it might be a case that it's not, um, not soft soil, I know some people shy away from it a little bit, just give tracks a little bit of a different feel, which I, I don't mind, I like tracks that, that test your throttle control a little bit. I did get a new controller, happy to announce, uh, uh, over Christmas I got a new PlayStation 4 controller. I didn't, uh, I've been playing on a PS4 controller for the last, oh god knows, just probably over a year or so now. And I've just got used to it, I didn't want to kind of venture out and change it up to an Xbox controller or PS5. So I just asked for another PlayStation 4 controller because the one I was using, well, the, the two I was using, I was alternating between two, uh, one had some stick drift on the left stick so I had to run a fairly high dead zone which I'm not a fan of I like being in full full control of my bike and then the other one was having connection issues so it would randomly uh, disconnect itself and fortunately it never happened in any races it was more so me playing around in testing but I thought for my own good to save me smashing a hole in my glass desk which <laughs> I imagine is going to leave a, a bit of a mess I thought let's just just get a new one and uh, and we'll go from there so I'm currently breaking in I'm hoping it doesn't take me too long I'm not sure if anyone else is the same when it comes to new controllers, but I find it takes me a little while to get used to it. I mean, straight... Oh, my God, that was close. Straight off the bat, it feels very odd because the triggers, so the right and left trigger, they're a lot stiffer than what I'm used to, where I've not worn them in properly yet. So, yeah, straight away, that is something different for me to overcome. So you meant to go triple to downside here, and then you go step on, step on, step off. There we go, okay. I think I know what line I need to be taking in that section now. Let me go outside here. No, no. Ooh, it's a, it is a slippery track. I, I feel like it's not soft soil. Unless it's the fact that these are my first laps on the game today. Not entirely sure. I am running a slightly different setup to normal. Normally I run uh, a setup that Rum sent me on the Honda. 
Uh, however, I did have a setup that McChicken sent me as well laying around. Uh, so I've chucked that one on today to see if I enjoy it. And it could even just be a setup thing that's making the bike a little bit more skatey. Um, but just based alone on how the back end stepped out going into that corner under very, very light braking, I just don't feel like that is the setup's fault. I feel like this track is meant to be slick. I mean, if I was to base it off of the textures, textures do give me a sort of like a hard pack type vibe rather than the soft soul that we're used to. So that 100% would be the factor. I mean, it might even say it on the MX, uh, MX Bikes shop post, and I've just not read it. I want to hit this again. So let's go triple and then triple again. Oh my god, you can tell I'm rusty. Right, let's try that again. <laughs> I'm determined to get this smoothie now. I keep over jumping the triple in. That's my issue. Backflip, ride it out. Lovely. Nice and smooth. Oh, God, I shouldn't have checked up. And then stretch out. And that segues us perfectly into track number two. We are on to SX North now. And I've put on my old Rumski setup this time to see if it is a setup thing or if it's just a bit of a skill issue on my behalf. We will soon find out. So let's see what this one has to offer. Oh, this is a lot of speed coming into this whoop section. Get off the back of it, the front end's dipping a little bit, but for the most part that was okay. This is, oh, that's a nice floaty little jump. I quite like that. And then I'm a fan of a dragon's back on, off, round to the left, step on, step off. Very simple section there, a little double. Another dragon's back onto it, on, off. Oh, these are, these are some nice little sections. This flows really, really nicely. A triple. Double over there. I mean, I'm not sure if this is an easier track or if I'm just getting lucky. But I'm gelling this one much more than the, that first Daytona one. Uh, let's go double, double. That is 100% meant to be a triple, triple. I am um, a massive skill issue. Got a little tabletop step down type thing. And then you can definitely jump all the way into the corner here. Okay, so what do we have? This is a triple survive. Thank you very much, Baboso. Sometimes get lucky. I channel, channel mate in a Kevin Wyndham and get to uh, randomly downside the uh, the edges of jumps. Let's try and get some clean laps going. Oh, a double step off. That is a bit of a stretch there. Not too sure if that's doable, but I mean, I wasn't far off for a kind of half half hearted attempt. Let's change down two gears into third. I'll turn over that. I feel like since I've downloaded this uh, new sound pack and all the 450s, my, I've, I've been in too high of a gear a lot of the time without realising because I feel like it all kind of sounds the same. I need to remember to shift down a little bit more because there's, there's really no need for me to be in third gear around a bowl turn unless I'm going straight into a whoop section afterwards and I want to be into a higher gear. I mean, second gear will do me absolutely fine. It'll give me a little bit more throttle control. Let's try going triple this time. Triple and triple again. And this is that weird tabletop step downy type thing. Or... Yeah, if I downside that nicely, 100% that is on. And then we've got a triple here. A very big one. That sends you a lot higher than I would expect, uh, considering the scale of the rest of the track. Go around to the left. I mean, the traction... I don't know. It definitely definitely feels slippery. I'm not sure if it is just a placebo thing or, or what. Uh, it's definitely not the setup I was using. It feels just as slippery now on, on this one too. Let's go down to second rather than third. Let's go second gear up there. Go to third since we're going over this dragon's back. On off down to second gear again. Go double, double, double. Do, 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 do. Step on, step off. This is up. I like this one so far. This is this is my favourite one out of the two that we've done so far. Quite a long shot. This there's something about it. I'm not sure if it's the flow. I'm not sure what it is, but me uh, me likey. Very 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 kinder bueno. Go triple. I want to get this. Uh, actually, let's go around this. I want to get this next section nicely. But as long as I downside this well. I didn't downside it well. Screw it. Let's send it anyway. <gasps> oh, boing. Okay, so as long as I downside this well. There we go. Perfect. Stretch it out. Ah, oh, lovely. That is nice and smooth. You have to be pretty damn precise there. Uh, I'm sure if you carry a bit more speed in the corner and scrub the table for you a bit harder, you haven't got to stretch out the end as much into the corner. But that is very, very nice. I'm thoroughly enjoying this track. I'm really, really liking it. Very good job, James. Let's see if we can get a lap in without crashing. That should be uh, that should be kind of my goal on all these tracks, shouldn't it? Uh, so we've got Dragon's Back, step on, step off, into the corner. We go double, double, double. Quite a, a very, very easy section there. Be nice and easy on the throttle over the Dragon's Back. Step on, step off. Hit the super cross triple. We're going a bit wide, that's fine. Use the berm. Double over here. 
the, I love the jump faces. The jump faces are very, very nice and flowy. Let's go out wide here because I want to go triple, triple in this section. Oh, this is where it could all, all come down to here. Let's scrub off a bit of speed. Oh, I got hung up a little bit. Screw it. Lean forwards. Survive it. Oh, thank you. Bavoso's blessed me. It's fine. All right, triple. There we go. I'm not sure where the track limits are on the inside of uh, that right hander there where it's where it turns to grass. Step on. Step off. This would be brave going inside. Lovely. Through the whoops. Oh, I'm going off the side of them. Oh! <laughs> oh god, the finish was right there. Oh, that's bloody frustrating. That's actually very, very frustrating. <laughs> a crash in the whoops right in the last section. Ah, oh, god damn it. But yeah, um, this this track, this one right here, love it. Very, very nice, very flowy. And that is two out of three done. Let's move on to the south track and see if that one uh, tops these two or see, just see where it falls in comparison to them. There we go, south time. It's the, uh, the third and final one out of all three. Let's see if this one can uh, live up to that second one. Again, I'm not sure what it was, but I was just gelling really, really well with that second track. Massive, oh, massive props to uh, James for some of the creativity as well, because uh, building a replica Supercross track is one thing, but trying to do custom Supercross tracks, I imagine, must be very, very difficult. And again, straight off the bat, this track, it does feel slippery. So I am going to kind of stick my neck out there a little bit and say that this isn't soft soil it might just be soil i have no idea i, I can't even remember off the top of my head all the different balls that they've got in the game um but yeah this is i mean i don't i haven't experimented too much with different tires on different tracks but if you're going to go and download and play these tracks yourselves experiment a little bit see what works see what doesn't work for you i'm not sure what sort of traction the old Poboso stock tyres would have around here. Um, but that's another reason I'm looking forward to the Beta, beta 18 OEMs dropping as well, because I believe we're getting all, all new tyre choices when that drops. So lots more customization coming to the game, which should make all tracks a lot more fun. And the biggest thing that I want to be worked on, really, is the traction for sand. Because sand right now, I think sand is in a terrible state. I mean, I have no issue with if this track is meant to be like hard pack. I have no issue with how slippery it is. It completely makes sense. Like, if you're pushing your front end or trying to get on this, the gas really early and aggressively on hard pack, you should be sliding. Um, but yeah, when it comes to sand, I feel like we slide a bit too easily in sand. Now, I know you're wheel spinning in like 99.999% of the time when you ride sand anyway. But you're still getting, you still do get forwards momentum. And it feels like in game, you're never really moving forwards at all. You're just always like... It's riding on ice. It's like the surface ice. You never feel like you're in the sand at all, or, or anything. It just doesn't feel doesn't feel natural, is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, no issue with uh, tracks like this and hard pack tracks. Just taking a little bit more finesse. Uh, I've, I want to see if I can hit the big line coming out of this corner here, because I keep checking up and stepping on. Let's roll it on gently. Get up and over. Not quite. I'm gonna turn around. Let's uh, try and hit it one more time. Let's go second gear. Bring a bit more speed in the corner. Really seat bouncy that time. There we go. And then all the way out. Oh, got hung up a little bit, but that was much, much nicer. Shows what uh, what a nice smooth drive around the corner and a proper seat bounce can do for you. I feel like my seat bounce is so, so strange. People ask me now and then for help when it comes to supercrosses. I, I generally don't know what I do. I just press buttons and it ends up working. Uh, I just, where I've, I've not got a, a toggled sit down. It's like all the time I'm holding down my right stick. Uh, it's sitting down anytime I'm not holding down my right stick it stood up but I can sit down and stand up very very quickly and that kind of comes in with my seat bouncing like I'll sit down at a random part in the air when back braking uh, usually at like the the arc when you're in the air at the most most top point before I start coming back down and I'm not sure if it even does anything but to me it, at least it feels like that gives you gives you the most distance and I do that weird little little whip in the other direction which kind of comes from sim in sim you can almost do like a stretch whip like you used to on, on the old reflex days so yeah there's, there's a very very weird and, and wonderful techniques on this game but let's see if we can get this this lap as a clean one because so far so bloody good I want to come out wide a little bit here Oh, I can hit this nice and smooth and go triple, and then triple again. Oh, we're going to land in this berm. Uh, it's not too shabby. Step on, step off, and then I'm guessing that's the finish line just to my right here as well. Round to the right, up and over. Toss her sideways for the imaginary crowd or your wife that's in the kitchen, as this is a, this is a backyard compound or complex, remember. 
Could you imagine having something like this in your back garden? You'd be, your life would be complete. Uh, I don't think I'd ever leave my premises. I mean, I, I barely leave the premises as it bloody is. I spend <laughs> six out of seven days a week in my room, basically. But imagine having this in your garden. Oh my gosh, you, just, you wouldn't go anywhere. Order all your food online, get it delivered to you. Happy days. Just me, my bike, and a, uh, and a can of fuel, and I'd be a very, very happy man. Uh, I think I'd, I'd just be happy with a bloody turn track uh, <laughs> in my garden when I uh, when I eventually get that, that dream home, I think. But, you know, times are tough. Times are tough. You've got to be saving all them pennies. Be lucky, lucky around here to get a bloody like, apartment or a, or a flat or something like that for 300 grand. Never mind, somewhere with a nice bit of land out the back. Those are those are the dreams. Those are what you aim for. That's end of end of life goals right there. Imagine me being like 60, 70 years old, ragging a pit bike around a turn track in, in my garden. Oh, God, it's just that's a, that's a funny mental image to paint for myself. And I think that's probably going to do it from me, if I'm completely honest. Um, I think in terms of how I've been enjoying the tracks, the north one, which is the second one that I covered, by far my favourite. Oh, I'm currently stuck. That's a bit embarrassing. Uh, then it is the south one, the third one that I've done. And then finally it's the Daytona one. Now... To just bang out three custom Supercross tracks like this, I think it's very, very impressive. He's done a very, very good job. And the textures are beautiful. Oh, they're so nice. Uh, if he makes more tracks, please, please use these textures. I'm not sure what it is. They're so appealing on the eyes. And I have a reshade on right now. And it's not like, it's not overbearingly bright either, which is lovely. And uh, the skybox is very pretty. I've not even mentioned that. But like some uh, some snow, snowy mountains in the distance. And it's lovely. We've got a city the other way. That's a interesting contrast actually going from mountains to the city back and forth but he's done an amazing job here it's really really nice and i'm just happy that we're getting so many supercross tracks before the season starts because i more than anyone need the practice uh, I, I say it every single time i cover a supercross track and i'm probably going to say it every other time i do a supercross track before the season starts but i need to practice a whole lot more than i am doing I'll get to it eventually. Maybe maybe the day before I'll just spend like 20 hours straight grinding out Supercross. Oh, uh, we'll see. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, if you could drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new, I'd really, really appreciate it. I'm kind of pushing the boat out and I want to see if we can get to 44k for the new year. I, if we can do that or not, I have no idea since my original goal was 42,000. But you guys have been insane recently, so thank you very much. Um, have a lovely rest of the day, wherever you're up to, and I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Peace.